All right, so I'm going to do another Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine message. Also, I created a playlist. I didn't even think about this until, um, yeah, so I created a playlist of all, not all of them, but just like a select few of the Divine Masculine messages to Divine Feminine. Uh, so if you go to my playlist on my channel, it will be there and those should be at least, I don't know, 10 of them. Uh, I do, I should have a lot more videos, a lot more videos. So go ahead and check those out if you would like. So I'm going to get straight, straight into this reading. There's a lot of cards out here, as you can see. I used a couple different decks. All right, so let's start with the first cards that came out for Divine, from Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Engagement, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, with the at the crown of the reading, we have you are my goddess, my queen, my empress. And they're really like it's like you're the self love that you have for yourself really attracts them uh, to you know, they they're just attracted to the, the your self love for yourself. All right, so it's ascending to a higher level. This is also the 5D connection. Another thing is, is I thought this was a rabbit. So when I was doing the cards and rabbits, you know, that they symbolize fertilize, um, fertility, so new life. All right. It's a new life in this connection. All right. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So divine feminine, by being in the now moment and enjoying the moment fully, that is what pulls in that energy. And then we've got the give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Look at the way they're embracing each other with calling in your soulmate. So you've been calling this in and it's, look, it's like he's right, right there with you. He's right behind you. He's within you. And it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So work on this partnership. And I do feel it's like focus on being in the now moment, present, enjoying this life fully, uh, being this empress, this goddess, and on the 5D, you know? So, and then we also have separation came out in reverse. So I like seeing that. So it's, I feel like this energy of coming, uh, future energy of coming out of separation. So that's really great. All right, now we've got divine masculine messages. The thought of losing you is so unbearable with the separation and um, being going through the separation, the way she's just like, He's longing to be with her, you know, it's like they feel each other. Yes, I can feel you in the 5D and, um, but I feel like for this connection, um, it's coming out of this long separation. It's going to be ascending to a higher level. Okay. So we also have, this is a past life connection, this past life relationship. You have known each other before and trust, you know, trust uh, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Look at the way he's like pointing to this cherub, you know, like, okay, not, not quite yet. And he's waiting for his signal there. So deep energies in this reading. I'll get to it more, but the thought of losing you unbearable. I can feel you. You are my goddess. Um, please don't give up on me. It was a strong one. So please don't, and it's also, please don't give up on praying for us and praying and, and using your visualization because it helps your divine counterpart. And I just love embracing. There's also this embracing with getting to know each other. That's number 44. And so it's learn to meet another's need for love. So what do they need right now? Support. All right. What kind of support do they need? And so practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. So, and I also feel like the masculines are seeing things from a fresh perspective because we do have uh, epiphany out here. I'll show you in a second, but they're very grateful for this connection. And there's just a lot of embracing energy. What's really cool is we have faith as the fuel that creates miracles with miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Everything has its gift. So, uh, these miracles are being created. Okay. So. So, and then look to your inner strength. And I feel like he's also saying to you, like, I'm working on finding my inner strength. And by you being in this energy and 
affirming, visualizing, and working on your own self-love, this energy, it helps me. It helps me. So they're looking to their inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Also, they're telling their feminine, you're, you're stronger than you realize, so don't be hard on yourself um, if you're doing that. Um, they're also really trying to do this for themselves. Realize that they are very strong, that they can handle anything. And um, so, yeah. All right. Let's go over here. Look at this. <laughs> Negativity, toxic relationships, exhaustion, and healing through movement. With I am healing core wounds, it goes deeper than I fathomed. With I have my own demons uh, to battle. I have my own inner demons to battle. So they're working on that. And then, oh, look at this, too. They have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so that could be in their chart, or they could be a fire sign. The Hitting Rock Bottom card. With the darkness has eaten me up, yet I still rise like the Phoenix. So, Phoenix. <sighs> so that's a major energy that they're going through. So I do feel like they're working on this just very emotional, I feel like, deep energies and, and core wounds. And they want to prepare to get out of this physical separation. So I feel like they're healing through movement. So getting some movement or exercising or going to the gym, um, going for walks or whatever. I feel like they're healing that through movement um, and getting away from negative toxic relationships. All right, battling their own inner demons and healing core wounds because it goes deeper than I fathomed. You know, they're realizing that it's, wow, like you follow that string kind of within yourself and you see deeper meanings behind things, okay? So that is a miracle in itself to honestly look at, look at it and be like, oh, I see now. Like there's that epiphany. I think the epiphany card came out. I think it's under here. All right, so... With this miracle and blessings, we have, or just in general, let's read the cards. Justice, skills, and ba skills balanced. Giving, action, taking action. Free to be you. All right. So they're working on these things to balance the skills within this connection. Being their authentic self. Giving to this connection. Giving to themselves as well and taking action in their lives to release this negati negative negative. Uh, uh, toxic energy and they're very exhausted I feel like um because yeah they're overcoming obstacles all right and they're having that shift in perspective the epiphany what did we have over here where was it practice compassion so it's like the divine feminine it's kind of like the divine masculine represented here as the bird uh I do get a lot of birds uh signs through the divine masculine collective and so it's like the feminine just practicing that compassion. See how that light is shining in on the divine masculine. Let's just say the bird, okay? And give in. It says practice compassion for your masculine as he goes through this transformation. And because they're seeing things from a fresh perspective, the light is shining in on them. And they're rising like the phoenix right now. You know, there's that hitting rock bottom energy. There's core wounds. There's exhaustion. From toxic relationships in their life, battling their own demons, trying to balance the scales, finding this freedom to be themselves finally, and just like really, feminines, you are an example. You know, you're the example to the masculines on authenticity, speaking your truth, giving to yourself, um, because you attract that energy. It's a vibrational match. So they're having this shift in perspective, these epiphanies. And then <laughs> I also have the bottom of, we have resonates or not. So this is like, does this resonate or not? Nah, because not every message has to resonate. So just feel within, within yourself if it resonates. All right. Another thing we have here, we have urgent. Sunrise, sunset, worrying is a misuse of imagination and creation. So this tells me that I feel like this masculine it's urgent that they get out of this worrying energy because it just creates more. Uh, so, like, use your imagination instead and say, what's possible? All right? Um, and sunset and sunrise, that could be a really powerful time for, the, for them to heal through this. Heal through this. And um, the negativity and the exhaustion. All right. Let's look at these cards. The only... 
thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. So that's what they're trying to do. They're just trying to shift back to what what does it what really matters. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. See how he's handing her the rose? Her back is turned, but look at this. There's that rose again. She's enjoying the, the, the moment. And so she's like, it's like the back. You see how they're embraced? He's behind her. It's like she doesn't see him. She knows he, he's within her. But then, like, she's like, oh, hi. <laughs> you know, <laughs> speak with love and truth. And then be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And then I got deep breathing. So I feel like for this masculine to really bring through honesty and speaking from the heart to his feminine, okay, is going to just deep breathe. Have some deep breaths, okay? Um, as you are authentic and you're, you're feminine, uh, if you're watching masculine, is there for you and loves the authenticity and just speaking from the heart. What's this? What kind of animal is that? Okay. Oh, look at, they're like dancing in the background. So this is a really beautiful message. The trust. Anything else? Let's see what's at the bottom over here. So, okay. So to create this new energy, right? This new energy, ascending to the next level, getting out of this separation, even though separation is illusion, but I'm talking about like physical separation, is urgent to get out of this worrying energy. And it could also be for feminine as well, so that you can create. So they're saying don't give up feminine also on your visualizations, on connecting to your masculine in the higher realms. Get to know each other in the higher realms. Oh my goodness, yes, use your imagination. I do this as well, visualization. And imagine you guys are like mermaids or you're, you're, you're doing some fun activities in the astral and a whole, like just use your imagination. Okay. Use your imagination to create whatever you want to create. It's urgent. Spirit's like, get that. The creative juice is flowing. It's going to help. And what else did I get? Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So this is what the masculine is really trying to get in this energy to match with this feminine. So feminine, keep just spreading just like your glow, all right? Just being that glow, glow up, okay? And, and rise. And there's the infinity symbol as well, the number eight, abundance. Beautiful. Yeah, so you guys can be this unicorn. Remember the saying that I have? Yes, we are unicorns. Yes, we are magical, special, amazing, divine beings having this human experience of four, which is about union. So you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. So free to be you, divine masculine. And yeah, you can do anything you choose. So this is getting out of that, using your imagination. All right, I'm curious about splitting the deck here. Yeah, okay, there you go, bam. Guided meditation, if you need help with that. Um, I think I have, I used to, I don't know if I have playlists, but you can look on YouTube for guided meditations. I think people pleasing, look at getting out of people pleasing. So the masculine is working on that as well. Star-crossed lovers, baby. This past life relationship. So, yeah, that will help. The guided meditation, maybe you do at sunset or sunrise. Masculine feminines. Look at masculine, masculine over there. Yeah, be open to the infinite possibilities. Childhood wounds is out here again. You got this. It's like, so they may feel like they don't got it. There may be some t moments where they feel like they don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, but they're going through battling this and healing this. Because look at the A team is here to support and help with the communication and to help um, with anything that's going on within the connection. So I just love, oh, there's a divine gateway chakra as well. Open, that just confirms this, this card. You are in limitless. You can do anything you choose. Be open to the infinite possibilities. Bam. So this was the DM to the divine feminine reading. I tried to make it as concise as I could without 
too long. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget I do have that playlist. It doesn't have all of them, but it has a good amount of the divine masculine, two divine feminine love messages over the span of this time that I've been on. But there's uh, more if you want to look on my channel. Thank you to all the new subscribers and to all the, the likes and stuff on my recent video. I really appreciate it. So yes, that's, that's the message. All right. Bye. Good night.